So the first <laughs> thing you say good morning, you're talking about your lips. Your lips being nice moist. And moist. Right away. You know man. I really I'm wasn't not worried really. about your lips, Key. No, I wasn't. I was just, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Be a part of Keyshawn J. Will and Max Nation on the Dr. Pepper call online, 888-SAY-ESPN, 729-3776. ESPN Nation's presented by Dr. Pepper. It ain't college football season without the delicious taste of a nice cold Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Does this hurt? Keep but, waiting but, for, for the Packers to right the ship, right? How you doing, man? How was your weekend, yeah, man? Was it, was oh, I was, a, oh, I was a shuttle <laughs> service this weekend. A lot of kids. Oh, it's a birthday party, Halloween parties with, with the birthday parties on top of that. So, you know, and it, it doesn't even seem like in New York, it might not seem like a long way. You're going from Peter Cooper over in uh, on the east side in the 20s to a place over on, on the west side. It's like, oh, that's all on 19th Street. That's minutes. on 23rd Street. But going across town with traffic going around, I mean, yeah. by the time I dropped one, one off at the place, it was time to pick the other one up, you know, like this all day. I'm trying yeah, to watch the yeah. games on the app half the time. The, the app the doesn't parties, work, bad uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. The, the Halloween parties are a bit much, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. It's a bit much. Here's you're my right thing. though. Yeah. You you right though, Max, because I wasn't I wasn't doing the, the, the Uber shuttling, but I was watching it take place. Right. And you know, my, my daughter who's twelve, I was actually telling telling her mother and my wife yesterday, I was like, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, because it's a party fest going on. You know, <laughs> she went to a party on Thursday. She went to a party on Friday. Went to a party on Saturday, and then it went to another, another party last night. And I'm like, who goes to four parties? These kids nowadays, man. Wait, JC, you ain't there yet. Oh, I'm almost you, there. Wait, wait. I, I you, actually you, had wait. a lit, litmus test for both you guys because I got angry over the weekend about and, it. And yeah. then my daughter's a, a teenager. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, what are you? Where's the rest of the costume? The hell yeah, are you I'm doing? Get, I, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I won't. Be quiet, and you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Ooh. No, I'm not, because I understand whatever y'all are doing, y'all looking like nurses or whatever it's supposed to be. Different you know what nurses. it is. Nurses don't look like yeah, that at Cedar Sinai. Nurses look like that at different <laughs> not establishments. Not at Cedar Sinai. <laughs> <laughs> at different establishments. That's how nurses look. Like. Oh Lord. Max, I had oh, to tell her. <laughs> Max, I had to tell her. Shit, nurses don't look like that at Cedar Sinai, girl. And then I just went on in the kitchen and did this, Jay. Went See, on hands kitchen, up, man. I can't. Hands up. All right, uh, Keith, so uh, help me out as I as I get into, into all these different parties and stuff because I've been giving people some side word uh, eyes lately. Do you guys bring your kids to parties when they're sick, like when young kids? No. Thank no. you. No. Why why do people bring their kids to parties sick? Is this snot running out the nose? <laughs> It wouldn't be a super, the, it wouldn't be a super spreader, spreader event otherwise. You know your kid is sick. Why are you bringing them to the party? It's not a well, super it's spreader same. event otherwise. It's the same thing when they take kids to school that, oh, have, I can't. you know, that are I sick can't. because they have things they want to do. See, that's so weird. if I could take you to the party and then I could go somewhere or I want to get out of the house myself. So the next best thing is to go to the party and allow you to get everybody else that's sick. Nasty, man. Yeah. These kids not just... <laughs> Hands all on the nose. Well, now, now, here's the question. Grabbing all the candies, touching the other kids. I'm like, why are you even here's here? Here's the question. Sometimes if the kid is getting over the cold, maybe they still have a stuffy nose, but the cold's done, they're not contagious. See what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, you don't get that kind of information, though. Nobody's no. divorced. No, it just looks either. bad. The it just looks really no good. bad. Yeah. Hey, Max. Yo. Do you think the Packers were sick after last night? I sure They've look that sick. way, Keyshawn. They've been sick. Look. look I, you would think you, I keep waiting for them to turn it around, right? At some point, they're gonna. I, in fact, I thought there was a chance just because it's such uh, an obvious loss on the schedule. Oh, you're you're on the road against the Bills, got all these injuries, you're, you're gonna lose. I thought maybe NFL gods are funny, man. So you know the football gods. Sometimes you get the win there. Straight losses. Four, four games. Get is the second longest under Rodgers, and the team's worst since 2016. 
So how Rodgers, what was the stat line in the end for Aaron Rodgers? At one point, this is the best we've ever seen, right? 19 of 30 for 203 yards, two TDs, and a pick. He was limited by an injury-depleted uh, group of receivers. They were already missing Alan Lazard with a shoulder and Randall Cobb with an ankle, and then they lost Christian Watson to a concussion in the first quarter. Listen to Aaron Rodgers, though, Jay, after the game. Tell me what you think of this. I think that the most important thing is to take a beat uh, after frustration like this. Um, the last thing you want is to respond to an emotion. So take a beat, let it sit. Um, there's not a whole lot to say after the game that's really going to you know, spark the team, I don't think. It's more the conversations on the plane with the guys. It's the leadership conversations we'll have on Monday, tomorrow. And then coming with a message uh, this week that uh, is what we need. I, I mean, look, this to me is a franchise that is in regression. Seems like they're in regression, right? Let's call it for what it is. I said at the beginning of the year, you just don't replace Devontae Adams. Everybody told me, oh, well, they're wide receivers. They'll be fine. And I get Lazard, Cobb. They were out. Watson got hurt last night in the first quarter. But it, you look, look at the moves that this franchise has tra traditionally made, and everybody says, oh, they're going to make moves by the trade deadline. Like, it's rare that they make moves. Like, and it's not one move that's going to help them, yet alone multiple. You, you, you're going to give them a defensive tackle? Like, you're going to give them – like an edge rusher, you're gonna give them an offensive tackle, like with some depth, you're gonna give them maybe a tight end. They need so many pieces here. It just seems like that's it. This team is what they are. Key, the best laid plans of mice and men. That's an expression meaning like even when you plan it out just right, it may not work right. But in this case, it to me, it doesn't look like the Packers planned it out just right. It looks like they didn't plan it out just right, and then they were hoping. Well, okay, now we lose De we, we don't push Rodgers over the top. Now, now we lose Devontae. Hey, you know what? This Christian Watson, Dobbs, we, we could maybe, they, by the end of the season, they could. But that doesn't mean it's going to work, work out that way. Yeah, you know what? The, the, the Devontae Adams thing is a good, cute conversation to continue to keep having. But this team is, is not uh, uh, in a situation where, where missing the Devontae Adams is going to change everything. The, the kid, Romeo Dobbs, played well. Christian Dotson, Christian Dotson, Christian Dotson just got hurt. Um, and, and when you think about it, they got more issues than the receivers. The receivers aren't the problem. It's the, the team overall. It's a lack, lack of depth. It's a lack of continuity and understanding what, what they need to do to get over the top. They rushed the football last night for over 200 yards, but that, that doesn't mean anything. You, you should have been doing that three weeks ago. You went up to Buffalo and decided to change your entire game plan and your entire outlook based on the personnel that you had at your disposal. Defensively, they haven't been worth the snuff. They continue to give up double digits on the scoreboard to the opponent. So they've got a lot to look forward to. They can still possibly be that 6-7 seed in the playoffs. If they continue to if yeah, they continue uh, to play this way, they're gonna be at home with us. Yeah, though. I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, listen, you can say whatever you want about Devontae. I hear you, Key. There are oh, a lot man. of problems. They're not three and five with, with Devontae. No Dobbs way. dropped four passes last week. They lost to the Commanders by two points. Devontae's in that game right now. I can tell you, they're at least four and four. At least four and four, right? And you feel a little, little different about them. You feel different about them. Uh, it, are the Packers 